10 Ways Yoga Teacher Training Helps You Develop as a Yoga Practitioner A Guide About How Teacher Training Can Better Your Yoga Experience Yoga is now the second most popular sport in America, and that success has led to a boom in yoga teacher training programs. There are many reasons for this. One is that some yoga teachers, especially those who learn from books or DVDs, don't take the time or effort to learn how to teach well. Another reason is that there are so many styles of yoga, and no one can be an expert at them all. So both newer teachers and older teachers who have taught only one style may not know how to teach another style effectively. Finally, some teacher training programs take shortcuts. They offer weekend courses and claim that their graduates can then open studios and teach full-time. The students walk out of those courses with certifications and high expectations, but without any real experience. No matter what caused it though, the result is the same. Too many people teaching yoga give their students a poor experience. And as more people try yoga and realize they'd rather take a class with someone else, those new teachers find themselves without jobs, which means there's even less incentive to learn how to teach well. The term yoga teacher training can refer to a lot of things. It could be just one weekend, or it could be a 100-hour course on how to use yoga to treat diabetes or some other condition. Yoga teacher training is an umbrella term for anything that involves learning more about yoga. Yoga teacher training can mean learning more about specific poses, like using props safely or adjusting the pose for different body types. It can mean learning about the history of yoga, or philosophy, or anatomy, or meditation. One person's yoga teacher training will be totally different from someone else's. Yoga teacher training can mean learning more about how to teach people to teach classes. It can mean learning how to answer questions about poses and postures. It can mean learning how to troubleshoot common problems that come up in class, like students who are unable to carry their own weight, into down dog or students whose knees click when they come into half moon pose. Yoga teacher training is a kind of apprenticeship. A teacher training program gives you a chance to practice teaching with a more experienced yoga teacher and helps you develop the knowledge and skills you need. The yoga teacher training programs that I know about come in three basic varieties. One, a weekend or week-long workshop led by a well-known or widely respected teacher. These may be as short as three days and as long as 10 days. Two, a 200-hour Yoga Alliance registered yoga teacher training program led by a well-known or widely respected teacher. These are usually nine months long and can be anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 or more. Three, an Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga certification program that includes formal study of anatomy and physiology led by an affiliated Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga teacher who has completed the K. Patapi Joy's Ashtanga Yoga Institute's Intermediate Series Teacher Training Course. These programs typically take one year or longer and cost around $3,000 minus $7,000 depending on where you live and whether it is full-time or part-time. These three levels each have different benefits and different risks involved. Today, there is a growing stream of yoga teachers and yoga studios who don't even know what Ashtanga Yoga is. On the other hand, there are many people who have practiced Ashtanga Yoga for years and never knew that it was called by that name. After all, in order to practice you don't need to know the philosophy behind it. It's like what happened with Christian meditation. There's a growing interest in meditation these days, but the phrases Christian meditation or Jesus prayer may sound strange to you even if you've been doing it for years. I have been a yoga teacher for almost 10 years. In those years I have taught thousands of people, from diverse backgrounds and with many different needs. I have been a student as well as a teacher, and although I've never practiced yoga as much as some, I have practiced long enough to know that it is something that can be enormously beneficial to one's physical, mental, and spiritual health. It's not just the poses themselves that are good for you. It's the breathing exercises, the meditation practice, the attention to diet and exercise. The whole of yoga is designed to improve one's life in every possible way. Yoga improves your sense of balance and ability to concentrate. It increases your strength and endurance. It makes you more flexible. It relieves stress by helping you develop self-control. If you are lucky enough to live in an area with an established yoga studio or center, you may think that all this is so obvious there is no need for me to point it out. But most people do not live in such areas, so they need guidance on where to find instruction and what kind of instruction to seek. If you are going to start a yoga class, either at a gym or a studio, or even in your home, you may need to be certified by Yoga Alliance. In order to do that you will need to complete a minimum of 200 hours of training. To do that you will need to go to yoga teacher training. Yoga Alliance has been around since 1999. It is the national governing body for the yoga industry and they make sure that anyone teaching yoga professionally meets the same standards. The benefits of this are you can be certain that if a company requires teacher training certification then their teachers have met those standards. The other benefit is that if you have this training then you will know how to do all the basic poses and have an idea about
about how to blend them together as part of a longer class. Yoga teacher training can be an important step in your journey. It can help you to grow, develop and mature into an excellent yoga teacher. Here is how it works. It all starts with a yoga certification course. This is the place where you will get the most valuable tools for your journey. Your teacher is there to guide you through this process and provide you with all of the knowledge that you need to become an excellent yoga instructor. This includes the history of yoga, the different types of yoga, the different styles of yoga, anatomy and physiology, injury prevention techniques, how to instruct different students in various age groups and even different personality types, how to create a yoga class for different goals and purposes, how to lead a yoga class while remaining safe, while remaining effective and while remaining on time while remaining calm. It is quite comprehensive training that will give you everything that you need to know about being an excellent instructor. If you are looking for a yoga teacher training, you probably want to know it is not going to be a waste of your time and money. I would like to help you by giving you an overview of what is involved in a yoga teacher training. Yoga means union. The goal of yoga practice is to bring together the body, mind and spirit in one unified whole. Yoga practices are intended to increase our flexibility, strength, balance, endurance, concentration and ability to focus our minds. Yoga also helps us relax our bodies and calm our minds so that we can experience the present moment fully. Yoga originated in India at least 5,000 years ago as a spiritual practice. The word yoga comes from the Sanskrit word yuga which means to unite. Yoga practices are intended both to unite us with the divine or supreme reality as well as with all other living beings. The essence of yoga is found in the eight limbs of yoga which are yama, which is moral restraint, niyama, which is self-study, asana, which is physical posture, pranayama, which is breath control, pratyahara, which is withdrawal of the senses, dharana, which is concentration, dhyana, which is meditation, and samadhi, which is total self-collectedness. Yoga teachers, like scientists, get better with practice. But unlike scientists, yoga teachers can improve their practice by practicing teaching. Yoga teacher training is a good way to learn the material and develop teaching skills at the same time. The best yoga teachers I know are deeply engaged in their own training. They read widely in the literature of yoga and other disciplines. They understand anatomy and physiology. They keep up with developments in psychology and neuroscience. They practice with their eyes open on their own practice. They study with teachers who themselves are serious students. The structure of yoga teacher training works well for this kind of self-reflective practitioner. A standard course covers about 500 hours of theoretical material over three months. The student's job is to master this material, which requires reading and writing essays about it, practicing it in class, listening to feedback on that practice from the teacher and peers in class, then writing more essays about what she learned from her mistakes. The the teacher's job is to help the student see her blind spots so she can free herself of bad habits accumulated through years of casual practice. Habits that will not only prevent her from becoming the kind of practitioner she wants to be but may actually cause physical or psychological harm to her students. Yoga teacher training is a great way to develop your skills as a yoga student and to deepen your knowledge of the various styles of yoga available. Yoga teacher training is not for everyone. It does require a commitment of time and money because you will be attending classes almost every day and doing readings and assignments in between. You might consider taking a workshop instead, which will also give you the opportunity to explore the many different styles of yoga at a much lower cost. A workshop is usually a collection of classes that run over several days or weeks with a central theme. You can find out more about workshops here. If you are really interested in yoga teacher training, it's best to start by finding an established school or program that has been around for a few years and has many graduates. If you don't know where to start, ask other students for recommendations. It's always better to rely on word of mouth than on internet searches. Be sure the program has full accreditation if that means anything to you. If you want to be able to teach others after completing the course, check what kind of certification or credentialing is available from the school. Yoga teacher training is a great way to learn more about yoga and work with a wide variety of people. The number of people who practice yoga has been increasing in recent years, and now there are many types of yoga. One of those is Ashtanga Yoga, which you can normally learn from a YTT. Another type of yoga that you can learn from a YTT is Bikram Yoga. The founder of this type is Bikram Chowdhury, who founded it in 1970s. He was born in Calcutta, India, and he spent most of his life there. In 1997, he started teaching yoga in Los Angeles, California and he has been living there since then. Yoga teacher training will give you many benefits if you decide to take one. There are many different types of YTTs available today, so they will have different focuses on the subject they teach. It is important that you choose the one that will fit best with your needs and expectations. If you are looking for a fulfilling career that will allow you to help people on their healing journey, then please read this article. There are many benefits of yoga teacher training that you should be aware of before you decide on an option for your practice. Yoga teacher training can be a very rewarding experience, and I hope this blueprint provided you with some tips along the way.